morning person, not one bit, yet I pop out of bed every morning about 6.30 or many times before my alarm goes off. So I even get up early even though I don't want to. Today I wanted to talk about routine and why it's so important in my life. If you are an autistic person, you can definitely relate to this. And there's many different kinds of routines that we have. I'm going to share just a few of mine. Can you relate to doing the same thing over and over again? Um, also known as sameness and routine. It's a big hallmark trait of those that are autistic. So there are about three different kinds of sameness of routine that I'm talking about in my life that I'm going to talk about here. One is beginning with my actual routine. What do I do as far as getting ready? My evening routine, my path to work that I take, and my routines vary on days I'm off work and days I work. I really struggle on days I'm not working to have some sort of and maintain a routine because it helps me out. If I don't have a routine, I'm likely just to sit in one place and not move and just not get anything done, but just sit, sit and focus on my hobby for hours. So I realize the need for routine in my life. My routine begins when I get up in the morning. I do it a certain way. I, the same time I get up, even on my days off, I just wake up at that time whether my alarm set or not. I will eat the same breakfast and then I will um, usually sit and fit in my Bible study at that time so I can get it in for the day. And because if I don't do it in the morning, I'm not likely to do it. And then I will get on my computer, check my email, um, check YouTube, my Etsy shop, anything like that. And then I will go and get ready for work, my morning shower, when I put make my lunch, it's all done in the same order. What I make for lunch, what goes in my lunch, it's the same thing. Peanut butter and honey sandwich and a vegetable. I've been eating that consistently I'm like for like three years plus now and not even tired of it, not one bit. Comment down below what's that thing you have to eat every day. And the thing about my morning routine, if it doesn't go as it normally does, um, say I realize I'm out of peanut butter, I can't make my sandwich for the day. <laughs> Why? How will I ever go on? It definitely throws off my morning and it um, can intensify if things don't get back to normal for me. On days that I'm not working, morning routine is very different. I don't I don't take care of personal hygiene as well. If I'm not, you know, if I don't have somewhere to go, I'm more likely to skip the shower, skip the skincare, skip the makeup, sit at the table for prolonged hours working on my hobby or doing something I enjoy. So repetitive thoughts kind of um, fall into this. So on days that I'm working and driving to work, I take the same route and I am mainly thinking the same thoughts. I will see that same sign up, think to myself how they could have done it better or how it's not effective or how it's ridiculous and it doesn't make any sense. Just for example, I was driving by a hair salon and they had a sign up and it said, we serve hairstyles daily. And I was like, that, what does that even mean? I'm not going to eat hair. Like, that sign makes no sense at all. But I think the same thing, I see the same landmarks, and I think the same things about them. So a lot of repetitive thoughts go on for me when I'm driving in my car. Repetitive thinking patterns and rigidity in thinking is, you know, something we experience when we're autistic. As long as they are making Tom's shoes, 
and blowfish shoes. I'm going to continue to purchase these because I know how they feel on my feet. And breaking in shoes is always hard for me. Even when I first get a pair of these shoes, I have to wear socks because it I'm very hypersensitive to the way they feel on my feet and I have to put band-aids or socks on. So breaking in shoes is not easy for me, but that's a whole nother topic. If I find a type of pants that I like, I'm going to buy them over and over and over as long as they make them. I'm going to buy those same pajama jeans I've been wearing now for 13 years. Sameness in routine also includes what I buy. You, if you are someone who's autistic, you're probably very brand loyal. So you can relate to having a favorite brand and then they just pull it off the shelves, shelves and you can't find it anymore. It's um, distressing for us. So we are pretty brand loyal. If we like something, we're going to buy it. It's going to continue to be a part of what we eat and our routine. So that wraps up the topic of sameness of routine. I just wanted to share that and um, comment down below anything you want to say about routine and how it is important to you. And what is something you have to do every day? Join this community of autistic adults, a growing community, and we'd love to have you on this channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Now I'm going to go edit this video. That's one of my obsessive hobbies, but that's for another topic.